The mirages of the nebula have been set free. And once again, time resumes its march. Well, we better make our way back to Cornelia before the Baja Mushans get any funny ideas. We gotta go all the way back. You can head to Ninewood Hills right from now if you want to. Huh? Now that the boss has been the bested, I can make you an exit gate right here and now. Ta -da -da! It'll take you the back to Ninewood Hills, and from there, Cornelia's easy. Thanks to the buzz cut. I remember. <gasps> You don't get shortcuts much the shorter than a buzz cut. Wait! Unless you buzz the buzz cut, and then the one have you got? Uh, I think at that point, you call it a bald cut. Oh, well. I guess I can take the easy way out and just go through the gate, and then we'll be fine. I gotta save. Um... So yeah, that was like a real first um, intimidating boss fight. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VIII now that I think about it. Especially because we ended up fighting Ifrit. But, I digress. <laughs> it's not important. What's important is uh, we, to we totally have uh, a Mirage I'm never going to use. Mainly because I already got the one for this area. I think Freet or whatever Just would be a little bit better. Whenever you want to rest up and to recover HP. While we're there, we should stop by Chocolate. If the one of your mirages has unlocked the Joyride ability, you can be hitch a ride on it as long as it's in your lineup. I guess I could check out the shop. The best is yet in store. Might even be in my store. Welcome to the Chocolate Mart! Um... She might have some stuff. Oh, by the way, she probably mentioned, I bought a couple potions, so we might be a bit stocked up on those. Uh, I thought it was useful. All this said, let's see, I want one of those. Oh, I'm gonna take one of those and those. Ooh, actually, now that I think about it. Um... Allow me to get one of those. Let's see. I don't need that. The poison would be nice. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take all these. Yeah. Uh, the flash bombs in particular might be handy for imprisoning something soon. Ooh, look at that. So, she says sometimes she gets stuff on her head, but sometimes... Here, help yourselves. Sometimes, mirages. It's random, but it happens. Do you always strut around with mirages on your head? Wow, I was wondering what that creepy crawly feeling was. <laughs> oh man, let me tell you something. That floaty eyeball thing... Uh, that thing would be awesome to get, especially right now. But here's the thing. Nightwood Hills, you get Tama pretty much instantly. So, um, as much as I could probably take advantage of this, get myself a, uh, floaty eyeball critter, which I think actually is called floating, floaty, I don't know. Uh, floating eye, yeah, yeah, okay. I could totally grab one. Because I actually know how to do it. Uh, if anyone wants to know, what you do is, uh, you basically leave it, uh, you leave it for last. And then you pretty much can imprison it. Imprism it. Some mirages work that way. Uh, but unfortunately, I got Tama from Ninewood Hills, and I'm gonna make- I'm gonna say that counts for that, unless I really, really just wanted to, like, switch her out, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I feel like it'd be cheating if I ended up getting Floating Eyeball. That wasn't so bad. 
I, I would want to, but I'm, I'm gonna say, no, nah, Tama. Tama! Tama is like the mirage I ended up getting from this place. So, no, no mirages from Ninewood Hills. I wasn't sure if this place was, or if that was gonna show up sooner rather than later, but lo and behold, it showed up, so. I guess I can explain I am not getting any mirages from Ninewood Hills, even though it would have been kind of cool. Uh, also, should I ever get a mirage, like a, a copper golem, because that ends up showing up, I guess I will use the one that I have right now. So, yeah. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if I catch, like, an HM slave, or that that is like the mirage that I end up running into, but I don't actually have it on my team. I'm just gonna say, uh, yeah, I can now put it on my team because it's technically it technically counts. Uh, that might not make sense, but let's say I just run into a copper golem in a new area. A legendary warrior. Oh great, we have plot. Let's check in with Princess Sarah. It's the Bahamutian army. What? They're here already? Established a camp near our gates, then clearly they must intend to finish us once and for all. So what now? Seems to me we're going to have to nip this little problem in the butt. Hmm? What do you propose we do? We should take the fight to them. Uh, well said, but as things stand, Cornelia simply does not have the manpower. If you can just buy us some time, we'll do the rest. Huh? Me and Rain will sneak up on their boss and take him out. What? Mm. I, is it really that simple? Well, he may not exactly look it, but Lund's pretty good in a fight. Thing is, he used to get picked on for being such a pipsqueak. Please, as if you were ever any taller than me. Oh, well, I might have made up the pipsqueak part, but he definitely did get picked on. I think that maybe the other kids were a little creeped out by our arms. <sighs> <laughs> Still, we were always kind of proud that we look like this, because it meant we were just like our mom, right? I guess. So, let's talk more about Long getting picked on. Boy, did they make him cry. But, after I whipped him into shape, he never lost a fight again. Uh, wonderful. But that's not because he turned into some kind of bully-destroying machine. He just literally never picked a fight he couldn't win. Really? His threat assessment skills were uncanny. He always knew the odds. <laughs> Call it natural cowardice. Hey, watch it. Salon. How about it? Do you think we can beat those guys? Piece of cake? Well, not a piece of cake. More like a very large sliver of cake. Well, there you have it. So, are you willing to trust us? Very well, then. We must act. It is only a matter of time before the Federation completely overruns Cornelia. We will fight and place our faith in the Mirage Keepers. Huh. What a weird thing to remember. I know someone bullied Lon, but why can't I remember who? Well... That was a very odd place to get interrupted. I was going, okay, first off, I got a couple things. One, your arms are badass, I'm jealous. I'm sure I could get tattoos, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it would work if I had like their arm markings on my arms. 
I, I just don't think it would go over well in public. But I, I digress. They're they're pretty awesome. I'm jealous. Hello there. Are you the keepers from the prophecy? I'm captain of the Cornelian Army First Brigade. Princess Sarah has appointed us as vanguard. We have been informed of the particulars. We'll time our feint to when the two of you storm the field. You can set out just as soon as you're ready. Oh, great! I was about to explain the next thing, which was, uh... We're in, we're in Cornelia. We're in Cornelia. The Final Fantasy 1 world, which... That, that's what I'm calling this place. They have a, Surprisingly, I do have to say... Cornelia has a lot more, uh, has a lot more involvement, whereas in, like, Final Fantasy, they were, they were just, like, one castle. They were starting castle, and they barely did anything, because, you know, the Heroes of Light, uh, those guys were pretty, uh, that's all that Final Fantasy was about. They were the heroes. They did a lot of stuff, so pretty much they, they were the only ones that did anything, because they were capable. Everyone else was just kind of like, oh, Heroes of Light, do something. So, uh, I'm surprised Cornelia... Their army is actually doing something. It, it, it's like a huge stretch from everything else. Um, I was also going to talk about uh, Copper Gnome, right? So I have one on my sidelines, and I was just going to say, uh, if that was like the next Mirage that I run into, because we're kind of going by that Nuzlocke rule of uh, you catch the first Pokemon that you run into. Uh, I, I was just going to say, if... Copper Gnome was like one of those, and that was the one I was going to be like, well, it's on my team now. That makes sense? Because it's in my sidelines? I guess what I'm trying to say is I shouldn't really capture more Mirages than possible. Let's hurry up and circle around and... Knock the goblin's boss senseless. Okay. The wish and boosh. Oh yeah. That's great. Uh, anyways, you know what? I'm gonna end it up here. Next part. Uh, on well, the next part, Mirage, new Mirage. I hope it's something awesome. It it could be something completely lame. Um. Anyways, toodles.